Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. Uh, eight New Zealand Rieslings in front of me. No, not Sauvignon, Riesling. Uh, and uh, I remember someone in New Zealand saying to me, one of the, uh, one of the wine producers, he says, yeah, we make Sauvignon, but we drink Riesling. Let's see whether that's justified. First one I have got is a Zephyr. Uh, Zephyr 2011 Riesling from Marlborough. Glover Family Vineyards, let's give it a whirl. Well, I've got them organised in vintage order, but uh, this, um, so this is the, the, one of the youngest, uh, uh, but 2011. But um, it's already, uh, there's, there's quite a mature feel about it, slightly bruised apple character coming through. Um, and um, yeah, there's a little bit of talc there, a bit of citrus. Uh, it smells uh, like it's, it, it, this is a problem I have with quite a lot of New Zealand Riesling. It's almost, I, 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 want, I, I want a little bit more crispness and definition about it. Here it feels like it's going to be pleasant enough but maybe, yeah, lacking that definition. Let's see if I'm right. Well, it does have this nice, does have a mineral streak coming through, but the fruit round it is just a little bit, yeah, it feels over mature and almost like a little bit more precision, more acidity. Uh, so the mineral is holding it all in, but um, maybe I like a little bit more crisp apple, uh, and crisp fresh apple and a little bit more citrus. Good, could be better. Let's try wine number two. Wine number two is uh, one of two wines I've got from Craggy Range Winery. Um, so this one is a Craggy Range single vineyard Riesling from Martinborough and Tay Muna Road Vineyard. Let's give it a whirl. And this is a bit more like it. Uh, it feels like there's um, yeah, there's the, the, some orange blossom, uh, there's a touch of mineral. There's a slightly honeyed smell as if it feels like it's going to be a, a slightly off dry, uh, but it feels like it's got this quite piercing citrus fruit and um, yeah, it smells good. It smells like it's going to be a bit more refreshing and uh, livelier and perkier than the first one. Yeah, that's more like it. Um, it's got this slaty uh, purity going through it. Uh, the limes, lime juice, roses, lime juice. I can't remember the last time I had roses, lime juice. I'm not even sure if they still make it. Uh, but it's got that purity going through it. Uh, off dry, um, but uh, certainly not a wine that you want to have with sweet food. I, th I think I'd use that little touch of sweetness to uh, uh, temper down some of the heat in the uh, uh, in, in in quite spice, spicy Asian cuisine. I'd... Nice wine. Let's try wine number three. Uh, wine number three, uh, Domain Road uh, from Central Otago, The Water Race, um, 2010. So the first two were 2011, this one's 2010. This also feels clean and grippy. It's got, um, uh, yes, more of the citrus, more of that crisp green green apple character going through it. Um, and uh, I, I, was, I was saying something like a touch of talc on the first one. I get uh, talc, dolly mixture, that type of character coming through here. That's quite a fleshy style, that 13.5% alcohol, but I think it's one of the highest here. Uh, but uh, what's good about it is that they've made it as a dry wine. I think if you'd made that as a sweet wine, I'm not quite sure whether it has the uh, uh, enough acidity to sustain a, uh, a sweet style. But as a dry style, uh, and I think a dry style, that's, uh, I think maybe they've given it a little bit of skin contact, because I feel this uh, slightly bitter uh, lemon pith character coming through. Almost as if there's a, there's a touch of tannin in there. That, that's what it is, a little, little bit of... Uh, tannin from the, the uh, that, that, that time that the the grape skins and the juice were in contact giving it structure uh, and uh, so it's got quite powerful flavors it's got the cooked apple and it's got citrus it's got the uh, yes it's got lemon but it's got quite ripe orange tangerine in there too uh, nice wine nice wine looking I like these so far uh, wine number four uh, this is only one with a cork uh, Riesling 2009 from Dry River in Martinborough let's give this a whirl and uh, 2009 compared with 2010, but this still feels like a coiled spring. Um, it's, it's strange going from 13.5% alcohol to, uh, this one's 11.5%. Um, I think it's going to have a touch of sweetness there, but it, the, the thing that really comes through is, um, again, I use this word precision. It feels like there's a, a slightly Teutonic spirit about the wine, um, but a, a, a Teutonic spirit with a bit of a smile. So it's got this um, mineral uh, acidic, acidic acidity driven backbone but then the fruit that's draped on it smells like it's going to have a little bit of flesh yes there's some citrus but uh, i think there's some peach nectarine in there too let's have a see 
Well, I gave that quite a bit of uh, swirling, because every time I swirled, more things came out. And uh, there was this toasty character, um, and uh, it, it toast and uh, uh, in the way that um, Hunter, Hunter River, they used to call it Hunter River Riesling, it was Semillon, but in the way that uh, those wines developed this lime and toast character, completely different grape, but very, giving a very similar character here. This pure pithiness, uh, and again, yeah, what I was saying about nectarine, peach, uh, mixed in with the citrus fruit, but uh, mineral and acidity and a real sense of a place coming through there. Very nice wine. Favourite so far, but um, the, last, the previous two were pretty good too. Wine number five. Uh, this is Earth's End. Uh, so we've gone from Martinborough. This is Central Otago now. Um, and um, Earth's End, uh, made by the Mount Edward Winery for Marks and Spencers. Let's give it a whirl. Clean, vibrant style. Um, it's uh, slightly higher alcohol, 12.5% compared with 11.5% uh, on, on the dry river. But it feels, again, like it's um, got still got... I mean, it's funny, 2009, I don't know whether as a vintage it was um, a high acid vintage for New Zealand. But both of these feel like they're still they're still really quite closed in and need to uh, uh, need to do some uncurling. Um, what's uh, nice about it is there's some, uh, there's this, yeah, there's a citrus and a touch of the green apple, but there's also something a little bit more floral, maybe, um, I don't know, a blossom elderflower character. Let's try it. Yeah, brisk, juicy, elegant. Um, don't think it's quite as classy as the, uh, uh, as the dry river, but uh, it's a rather nice glass of wine. Again, with that zestiness and uh, rich flavours, zesty finish, uh, really good. Um, I, I, I don't know, they, they say on the back, uh, get it out with your oriental stuff. I'd, I'd maybe use one of the slightly sweeter, earlier ones for that. Here, I'd like some, uh, uh, some seafood or something like that. Let's try wine number six. Uh, so we are down in Wiper now for Pegasus Bay Riesling 2009. Give it a whirl. And I don't know if there's a touch of botrytis in here, but um, there is a, a rounded, uh, honeyed, ever so slight raisiny character, maybe a little toasty uh, edge coming through. Uh, Fruit-wise, um, it's quite big and voluptuous, uh, juicy oranges, um, some peach in there. It feels like, yes, it's the fullest, throatiest wine so far. 13%, so I think there a couple were, were one of the early ones was higher alcohol, but this one feels like it's the one that's gonna have the most uh, body and flesh. Yeah, body, flesh, spice, uh, baked apple, touch of raisin, um, and um, it's quite a sappy finish. There's uh, um, they do a, 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 a recent called Bel Canto that's made with uh, later harvest fruit than this. And I think that's, that gets up to 14%. Uh, but um, here, I mean, this is this is it's a pretty tasty wine. Quite different in style from the dry river. The dry river is a bit more uh, precise and uh, focused and t teutonic. This one is a little bit more voluptuous and come hither. Uh, I think that, that there are occasions on which I'd like uh, both of those. Um, but good wine. I think I marginally prefer the dry river, but uh, this is still pretty, pretty good. Uh, wine number seven, uh, Villa Maria Reserve 2008 from uh, Marlborough. Give it a whirl. Well, I think this is the lowest alcohol, 10.5%. Um, uh, so probably going to be the sweetest. I'm not sure because when I smell it, um, it's got uh, it's lime and citrus. And uh, sorry, lime and apple. Well, lime and green apple, that's what I mean. Um, uh, maybe a bit of lemon pith in there too. It does, I, I don't find, it uh, doesn't smell like there's going to be any uh, botrytis fruit in there. Like, as I think that there was some botrytis effective fruit in the, uh, um, in the Pegasus Bay. Uh, but here it's, it's all about clean pure, uh, maybe a touch simple, let's have a see. Now I like that, but um, um, this is one where I think that by making it in that style, rather than maybe fermenting it out to slightly higher alcohol, not much more, I think that maybe they've missed a trick. Because um, uh, I'm left, the finish I'm left with is, um, is slightly simple and sweet, slightly dolly mixture, it's good, and I think in other company it would it would have shone, but um, today I miss a little bit of uh, precision. Uh, I'd I'd have liked it. Yeah, twelve percent alcohol, lower sugar. It's not a sweet wine by any means, uh, as I said about uh, one of the early ones. But um, I, I think that there was a a slight a, a wine with a more harmonious balance to be made. I'd better try it again just to see. Good, but. Um, 
nearly there. Final one. And we're back with Craggy Range um, for their uh, 2008 uh, Otago Station uh, Vineyard. Let's give this one a whirl. I was saying about, I think it was the first wine, that, that this slightly bruised apple feel about it. Uh, where was that one? That was from Marlborough. Uh, this is a Targa. But I get that, sl that similar feel here um, uh, of a wine that, um, that well, actually that was 2011, this is 2008. Uh, this feels almost like a wine that has lost a little bit of its youthful freshness. Um, I like the... Um, I like some of the apple character, and I, there, there is a bit of citrus and mineral behind it, but it feels, um, yes, maybe it's lost a little bit of its edge. Yeah, it's still got some intensity and purity about it, but um, I would have liked it, yeah, I would have liked it two years ago. Um, uh, juicy, rounded, um, what, what alcohol is it? Let's have a look. 11% alcohol. Again, it's one of those where uh, I'm not sure whether a slightly higher alcohol uh, would have uh, benefited it benefited it uh, more. Uh, I like that little bit of spice. I like the little bit of floral character, but I miss some of the zesty precision. That was the, for me one of the keys that uh, um, that shone out in my favourite wines here. Uh, there was um, flesh, but there was precision. Uh, but uh, in general, um, pretty good range of wines. See you soon.